My name is Adetun Fokola. I'm the general manager of the Lagos State Parks and Garden Program. Okay, tell us what is happening here today. Okay, so um, we've planted trees um, in commemoration of the first um, year anniversary of Lotus Bank. And it's, I believe it's the beginning of a bigger partnership um, where we're going to be planting more trees around Lagos as well as doing some beautification and landscaping in Lagos. Um, it's, it's very important for organizations like Lotus Bank to join and partner with the Lagos State Government um, to plant trees because it's, it's, it shows that they are conscious about the environment and that um, they want to ensure that the environment is preserved for future generations. It's also, tree planting is also one of the cheapest ways, you know, to fight climate change. And we're happy that Lotus Bank has joined us. And we're using this opportunity to encourage other organizations to also come and partner with us to, to plant trees around Lagos. Coincidentally, July, July 14th is the Lagos State Tree Planting Day. So this is very, very in line with our plans and um, um, for this month and the Lagos State Tree Planting Day celebrations. Okay, um, should we be um, watching out more for this kind of partnership? Yes, absolutely. So Lotus Bank has committed to plant um, trees all around Lagos and it will be unfolding the plans as we go along. Well, the motive is the environment, and the environment belongs to every one of us. We, we all have to ensure that we have something to leave for our future generations. If we don't fight for the environment, the, the environment will fight against us, and there will be nothing for our children to look forward to. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, if you look at our logo, it's a tree. Um, and it's not by accident, it's deliberate. We believe in um, helping the environment, sustainability. What we've seen happening now is there is alarming. Instead of us um, planting trees, we are cutting them. And part of our own belief as a bank is that we must support growth. Growth in all this administration. If you are um, science savvy, you would know that having trees around has so many values. From it absorbing carbon dioxide, which is injurious to the environment, to creating shade, to, I mean, being productive generally. So for us, we decided to use it as a logo and also support anything that has to do with env environmental friendliness. In our bank, to tell you how much we appreciate or believe that we should have forestation and not afforestation, we also have paperless devices in our um, banking. Hall. We have tablets where you can do transfers without filling forms, and that's also to encourage people to be aware of the need to protect our environment. Part of what is causing the, um, climate change is the fuel we are burning. It's a lack of support for the environment. So that's it really. We decided that it's an anniversary. Let's support what we believe in. That's our own best way of celebrating. Okay, I understand um, your vision for this. So um, what strategic ways have, are you taking to implement this for long term? Okay, impact? thank you. Everywhere you go, even it do not the concrete. Do, I'm sorry, um, where is that place? It do my good. It's a concrete jungle. You can't find soil anywhere there. We put flower pots so that you can see the plants. Everywhere we go, we go with our plants. If you look around this place, the decor, there are plants glassed um, around us here. Um, as we grow as a bank, we will continue to encourage awareness of the environment. We would also support those who are working towards recycling or um, solar energy and those things that will reduce the degradation of the environment. And so there's a lot of partnership we are doing. We are also very biased. 
when we are financing those who are in areas that should help um, our environmental health. We are partnering also with government, with LOMA, there's an association with LOMA now that we just started, and it's going to be deliberate. We go on like that all over Nigeria, working with those who are supporting environmental growth and health. So for how long do you think this will continue? It's a lifetime thing. If we are not conscious of the fact that living itself will be sustained by what we are doing, then we're all in trouble. So it's a lifetime thing. It's, we want it to be a way of life, to be natural. Wherever you live, you find a space to put plants. No matter how small the space, there is no excuse. There are plants that thrive internally without the soil. We would find them. We put them where we should. So it's a lifetime thing. It's not just about plants, by the way. Anything that would ensure environmental sustainability, remove poverty, encourage women, the disadvantaged, we would support, we would work towards. We are also partial towards women. Um, ironically, three women um, started the uh, strategic plan for the setup of Lotus Bank. I'm a woman. The chairman is a woman. We encourage anything that would allow fairness and equality and growth, ultimately. Okay. So you have a lot of collaborators coming on board. Oh, definitely. We do. ASPAC is one of them. Um, as we are concluding the exercise today, we told them we would like to take the rest of the stretch and um, plant trees there. And then they should also um, show us other areas in Lagos, not just on the island, where we can, especially those areas that are becoming like concrete jungles, and so on. We need to create consciousness there too. We need to do that. So we will be working for a long time with them on improving our environment. I know also when you plant trees, flowers, it's beautifying too. Yes. Yes. So there's a lot of positives. Okay, so to what you, we do. you have a lot of branches in Lagos. Yes. So how do you intend to use that as a point of contact for awareness in terms of moving together? Okay, like I mentioned earlier on, as we're rolling out the branches, even if it's just one flower pot, you find it there, you would never forget the tree because our logo is the tree. Every branch you go, you will find the tree at the counter. It's always there. You will find them at the entrance. It's always there. So you will see it even and everything we do with the paperless at the TSCs. Um, we can't eliminate paper completely for now. But that's our ultimate thing. That you come in, you won't even remember that they look for paper. We're still working with paper, but we'll be removing them as we go. But the DSCs, you go in, you cannot transfer. But you won't even find um, a physical teller anyway. What you will find in the DSC is the tablet. So you would have to use it. You go on it, you do your transfer, and then um, you check your balances and, and you work out. You more or less serve yourself. Thank you so much. Thank you. Today we mark our first year anniversary in Lotus Bank and coincidentally we are also launching our agency banking. Financial inclusion is actually a tool for economic development and it's one area that banks and non-banks are keenly interested in currently. A whole lot of things are happening in that space and more importantly it's about bringing financial services to the last mile where you have people giving or offering financial services in communities like this. As we speak now, we're somewhere, somewhere on the street of Obalende, where we have our first agent, Mr. Peter, who is coming on board as the very first agency banking uh, agent, Lotus Mart agent in Obalende. So we want to use this medium to, yeah, we want to use this medium to um, tell everyone, to tell the whole world that Lotus Mart is here, is simple, is smart, and we use it to drive financial inclusion to its best. Lotus Bank is an innovative bank. We're a digital bank. We're, we're a driven bank. We believe 
in the people. We believe in ethics. We believe that anything that we do, we put our best to it. That is why we believe that our agency banking is going to be unique. We're set to roll out with various partnerships that will show the strength of our team. We'll be able to speak to diverse customers. We'll be able to enable people in the rural areas, metropolitan areas, to be able to make transactions.